So before we start our tutorial, I would like to tell you that my logo animation course is out now on Udemy. Link is available in the description. So you can do check it out now or later. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video, we are going to create this cool text transition inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create new composition. We will call it as main animation. Width is 1920. Height is 180. Frame rate I am going to choose 30 second. And background color is black. So we will get this kind of composition. And then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on titles affection. Now first of all we will create one basic text animation. So I'll select this text and I'll type my first text. I'll type motion over here. I'll select this text. And I'll increase the font size a little bit somewhere around like this. Let's select this and let's decrease the distance between this font. Okay, then select this text, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Now select this text, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Let's hide the second text and change this text into different word like design. Select this text also, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically again. And we will hide this text now. Now we will enable our second text which is our motion. I'll select this text, I'll press P for position, then I'll go to around 2 seconds maybe. I'll create one keyframe over here. Zoom in a little bit, go to around 3 seconds and we will move this thing from here to here like this. Then enable this design text over here, select this and let's make it apparent with this motion text. So now if you see this animation, we will get something like this. Now select this uh, keyframes, hit F9, go to the graph editor, select this graph. First of all, make sure right click and make sure that you are in edit speed graph. Then select this graph by holding shift. I'll move this handle over here and this handle over here. So I'll get something like this animation. Okay, so if I hit play, I'll get this kind of animation. Now. Let's select both of these layers, press Ctrl, Shift, C and I'll call it as text and hit OK like that. And now I'm going to select my rectangle tool and I'll create one mask on this text like this. So now if I hit see this animation, I'll get something like this. But as you guys can see, the text is still visible. So select your selection tool, select this much portion and let's move this over here. OK, so now our animation looks quite good. Now double click to open this, press F4, select both the text layers and enable this motion blur. Go to the main animation, press F4 and also enable this motion blur like this. Okay, so we'll get something like this. Now we will select this text, I'll press Ctrl Shift C, uh, Ctrl Shift C to pre comp it, move all attributes into the new composition and I'll call this as text animation and hit OK and we will hide this layer. Okay. Now I'm going to select my rectangle selection tool and make sure your fill is white color and we will create one rectangle like this. Press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Then select this rectangle, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Press B for selection tool and let's move this over here. Hit Ctrl D, move one over here like this. Hit Ctrl D again, move one over here. Hit Ctrl D and move one over here. Select this, hit Ctrl D and move one over here, like that. Then right click new and create one null object. Select all of them and make it apparent with this null one. Select this null one, press S for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this. And let's adjust it over here. If you want, then you can tweak a little bit positioning of this ones, like this. Okay, yeah. Okay, so this looks good to me. Now select no, delete this null object. We don't need that. Now right click new and create one adjustment layer. Go to the effect and presets panel and search for blur effect and choose Gaussian blur effect. And let's increase the blurriness a little bit. Then go to the effect and presets panel and search for mosaic effect. Double click to apply. So we will get something like this. Uh, and horizontal blocks and vertical blocks. Let's choose 10, uh, 10 by 10 now. 
and now select all the layers and press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as map and hit ok and we will hide this now we will enable this text animation layer we will select this and i'm going to apply time displacement effect and double click to apply simply and choose our map layer so now if i see this animation i'll get this kind of cool text transition okay so select both the layers now and press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this i'll call it as final animation and hit ok and now select this layer hit ctrl d to duplicate it and we will hide this second layer now select this layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for find edge effect and double click to apply and invert this like this and now let's make this full resolution okay and now we will go to let's say up to 20 frames and we will enable our this second layer and i'll move this over here okay so this layer should be start from here and now select both the layers and let's go to the start and we will move this over here now for we will create one background so i'll press ctrl y and i will create black solid and hit ok and let's move this downwards and lock this layer and then press f4 so we can see those modes select this first one which we have applied find this effect make sure to blending mode is on screen and now if you hit play it will take a little bit time to load but your animation will look cooler okay so if you see this animation now we will get something like this if you want then you can uh, move this a little bit not too much but you can right now i have chosen this 10 frames let's make to up to 5 frames select both of them and let's move this over here so now if i see this i'll get this kind of transition okay and if you want then again you can go to inside this text you can select this text hit u go few frame forward you go up to around four seconds maybe you can select still select this text i mean keyframes hit ctrl c hit ctrl v right click on the, those keyframe go to keyframe assistance and time reverse keyframes okay so what will happen that you will get this animation in reverse format so in half resolution we will get something like this then we will get this okay and let's hit n over here so this is how you can create cool text transition inside of after effects so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned